guys, it's Melanie, and today I have a Vitacost and a small Paula's Choice haul to share with you. So um, I just figured I would lump them together since there isn't like enough stuff to do separate hauls. I ended up ordering from Vitacost because on Ebates, if you're not on Ebates, you should be on Ebates. Um, usually Vitacost is 5% cash back. I'll put a link down below for you. Um, the way that Ebates works is you just go to Ebates first, type in the name of the store that you want to go to, and then they give you a bunch of like coupon codes automatically and you can click through to the website that you want to shop at. This is a thing that you must sign up for if you're doing any kind of like online shopping for the holidays. You must sign up for Ebates because they basically just give you cash back a certain percentage. Um, for whatever store you're shopping at. So like all you have to do is go through Ebates first. It's fantastic. I have honestly made almost $1,000 cash back like through Ebates. Now, keep in mind, when we redid our bathroom remodels, <laughs> I bought a lot of stuff for like the tile, the grout, the faucets, all of that stuff I bought through Ebates. So that's why where a large chunk of that came from. But, um, you know, every time I go through Ebates or Paula's Choice, I always get at least 5% cash back. So make sure that you're signed up for that, especially since holiday shopping is starting. But so Ebates had a coupon where you got $10 off your purchase of $70 or more plus 5% cash back. So I took advantage and um, got some stuff at Vitacost. So let's dive right into it. First thing I grabbed was the Glow Naturals Argon Collection Face and Body Cleanser. They were buy one, get one half off. So I did end up getting the two. I'm curious about this line because this is like the Vitacost line. This is like their in-store, like generic brand. And my friend Stephanie has tried a few things from them and has really liked the product. So this has a really nice light fragrance. I'm hoping this is something that I can use all over my body. Usually with things that are fragranced, I can't really use it on my upper arms because of my eczema, but I'm going to try it and I'll let you guys know. This does have um, some good ingredients in it and there aren't a ton of ingredients. This one happens to have argon oil in it, which I thought would be kind of nice because argon oil has been really good to my skin. So anyway, I'll report back on that guy. I also grabbed their Glow Naturals Coconut Collection Body Lotion. This smells delicious. This smells like straight up coconut. If you're a coconut fan, you need to try this body lotion. This also, by the way, has hyaluronic acid and glycerin in it on top of coconut oil. So I'm thinking this is going to be pretty darn moisturizing. So I'm going to let you guys know how this reacts on my upper arms, which is sort of the litmus test for like whether products suck or not. If they work on my eczema, then it's like a plus product. Um, if things don't work on my upper arms, I just sort of reserve them for like the lower half of my body, which I'm fortunately not eczema prone in that area. So <laughs> anyway, I also grabbed a Tom's of Maine naturally dry antiperspirant and deodorant for women. Um, Apparently there has to be a difference. So this doesn't have any artificial fragrances or preservatives, which I thought was nice. It does have aluminum in it. So here's the thing. I know I'm going to get someone who's going to be like, don't use antiperspirant. Guys, I have to. When I sweat, like I'm not a horrible sweater, but when I sweat and I'm not wearing a antiperspirant, I get horrific rashes underneath my arms, like the kind that make me just want to like claw the skin off of my like armpit area. It's not pleasant and it takes a really long time to heal. So I have to use an antiperspirant. I cannot be wet underneath my arms. I have tried baby powder. I've tried cornstarch. I've tried lots of things that um, have not kept me dry enough to where it prevents that, those rashes. So this smells good. I figured since it didn't have as many like preservatives, it might be better than my usual like Dove or like, you know, other more traditional brands of deodorant. But anyway, Tom's the main, this brand has been recommended for me several times. So I'm going to give it a try and I'll let you guys know how that works. I also grabbed uh, some things from Acure. I love the Acure line. I am well aware that it is available at Target. However, my Target has a pretty limited selection and usually the things I want to try are sold out. And quite frankly, the prices are better on Vitacost than they are at Target. And I usually buy enough at Vitacost when I place an order to qualify for free shipping. So I get things for cheaper at Vitacost. 
Moral of the story is I picked up the Acure Facial Toner. This is the Balancing Rose and Red Tea. This is for all skin types. So this is a spray toner. It does have a fragrance to it, but it's not like overly fragranced. Um, Acure is a cruelty-free brand, and I really have enjoyed a lot of things from them. So I'm curious to try this. I do know that Paula's Choice does not give a lot of the Acure products particularly high ratings, but I don't go by the Paula's Choice like Beauty Encyclopedia. There's a lot of things that they don't give high ratings to that I actually really like and that work well for me. So I go by what works for Melanie. <laughs> Not necessarily what Paula's Choice says. Um, I do love a lot of their products and I'm going to share a couple with you that I purchased. But at the same time, I test out a lot of things and when I find something that works for me, I just go for it. So I will let you guys know how this works. I also picked up the Acure Marula and Argon Dry Oil Body Spray in Coconut. And I've already smelled this. It actually doesn't really smell like coconut. It doesn't. I don't know what it smells like, but it's it's not coconut. <laughs> uh, this has just a bunch of really nice oils like sea buckthorn, sandalwood, vitamin E. Um, and I thought it might be kind of nice to use on my legs after shaving. I will report back. These are really nice glass bottles. I don't know what I would reuse it for, but <laughs> if it has a nice fine mist, I might actually reuse the facial one with my uh, Heritage Store rose water and glycerin. So we'll see. Because the mister on that is kind of like a, more of like a splat, <laughs> which, you know, it's fine most of the time. But if I'm looking to like mist my face halfway through the day, I usually end up with like splats on my face. Most importantly, I picked up backups of my favorite facial scrub, the Acure Brightening Facial Scrub. I love this stuff. I used it in the shower this morning, and I needed some more backups, so I picked up two. This is $8.99 at Vitacost, and it's $9.99 at Target, so it's a dollar cheaper. I love this so much. If you are someone who likes the Exfolicate, try this. It's not nearly as expensive and it works just as well. Truthfully, it works just as well. Um, I really enjoy this. It's green. It has a like herbal scent to it and it just gets rid of any flakiness that I have on my skin. It's fantastic. I love this product so, so much. Then I grabbed two things from Paula's Choice. The first is a brand new product from them. It's kind of expensive. I wanted to do a worth the splurge on this for you guys. So I'm going to try it out for the next few weeks and then um, hopefully be able to report back to you by the end of December, beginning of January. This is their brand new Resist Skin Firming Line Minimizer. This is specifically to diminish crow's feet and frown lines. So... I don't really have a huge issue with frown lines. Um, well, I do on my forehead because I have an expressive face. I don't have an issue with crow's feet. Thank you. That's not a problem yet. But um, I've heard them talk a lot about this on the Paula's Choice YouTube channel. So I, I want to try it for myself. I thought the packaging was very innovative and unique. It kind of looks like a syringe. But basically one, like pump or click of this is supposed to be enough to use on all the different areas of your face that you need to treat. So it's supposed to be a targeted treatment that's supposed to just work extremely well, according to Paula's Choice. I've had really great luck with this line. I'm hoping that this is a um, game changer for me in terms of maybe the forehead lines that I'm dealing with. So we'll see. This was not cheap. <laughs> It's all in the name of testing the products, right? Okay, then I had to get this. This is not cheap either, but this is like my life. This is what started it all for me with Paula's Choice. And again, Paula's Choice is also 5% cash back on Ebates. So go sign up for Ebates. It's phenomenal. I get a lot of cash back from Paula's Choice through Ebates. This is the BHA9. This specifically for me has helped to eliminate blackheads on my face, like... They just don't form anymore. I have enormous pores. They're very prone to blackheads, and this just obliterates them. I will actually use one pump of this all over my face every, well, probably two to three times a week, and um, it just makes 
it impossible for blackheads to form on my face. This also works really great for any blemishes that I may get from time to time. I just put this on. It's a 9% salicylic acid solution. If you respond really well to salicylic acid, you need to try this product. It is absolutely amazing. It's So it has a pump, but it's a really small pump. Like when you pump one pump, it's actually enough to like do your entire face. So you kind of, if you're just looking to spot treat, have to be a little bit more careful with how hard you press on this. But it is controllable. It just takes a little bit of practice to get used to the pump. But man, this is amazing. You get a small amount, but you don't need much. This will last you for a very long time. This is the best investment I have ever made in my skin. Ever. I love this. I will never be without this. I don't care if they up the price of this to like $100 a bottle. I would still buy it. That is how much I love this product. And that's it. That's everything. So let me know if you guys have any questions. I will have links for Ebates down below. And I'll also just link these products individually on Vitacost so that if you want to go check out like some other people's reviews on some of this stuff. I love reading people's reviews on like different websites like Vitacost, Sephora, Ulta. Like people's reviews honestly are so helpful to me. It sort of helps me figure out whether the product is right for me or not. So um, always do that. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I will see you for Friday Favorites and Flops tomorrow. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.